We have breaking news out of the Calgary Flames organization. Head coach Glenn Galton and two of his assistants have been fired. We're going to discuss this move coming up next. Welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams. So if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So as I mentioned off the top, breaking news of the Calgary Flames organization, they have decided to part ways with head coach Glenn Galton, as well as assistant coaches Dave Cameron and Paul Jarrett. Now we did a video not too long ago, a few weeks back, once the regular season came to an end, analyzing which head coaches we thought might be the most likely to be replaced going into next year, and Glenn Gullitson was right at the top of our list. So to me, this does not come at a huge surprise. Obviously, the Flames in a disappointing season, uh, missing the playoffs yet again, uh, and this team over the last number of years under Gullitson has been terribly inconsistent. They do have a lot of great pieces in Calgary. They have a lot of young players that are really top-notch. They've got uh, some pretty solid the defenseman, they've got a couple of really great offensive forwards. Um, and obviously management and ownership felt that they gave a, a good enough roster uh, to this coaching staff to get better results and they failed to produce. So obviously uh, Dave Cameron's been there for a few years, obviously after leaving his job as head coach in the Ottawa Senators organization. And now Glenn Goldson and Paul Deere, all three of them are out of a job. So what does this mean for the Flames organization? Well, obviously, they're going to move in a new direction with their coaching staff. I do think we're going to see some moves in the offseason to, to bolster this roster. I think uh, more than likely they need to probably part with a defenseman to obtain another um, scoring forward. I think their scoring depth is tested a little bit. Um, and they do have a few players, a few changes that they could consider making. I think some maybe uh, another solid uh, backup goalie might be another possibility as well. I mean, Mike Smith played pretty well for the Flames this year, but unfortunately injuries hampered his season a bit down the stretch. And that certainly was a role, played a role as well as to why the Flames ended up missing out on the playoffs. So uh, I guess leave your comments down below. What do you think of this uh, move by the Flames organization? And do you have any ideas on who might be replacement candidates? Obviously, we've already seen Elaine Vigneault get let go by the Rangers. This is now coach number two to be released from their uh, contract since the regular season came to an end. I'm sure there will be more here in the coming days and weeks as... Uh, other non-playoff teams decide what they're doing with their future and as playoff teams get beat out of the playoffs decide how they're moving forward as well so I can uh, pretty well be assured there's going to be some more that's not the end of it and I think once uh, we see teams make some moves and coaches become available and they have a look at some other new candidates that might be uh, first timers uh, in the NHL as a head coach uh, once that candidate pool is built up enough and I think with the Rangers move uh, enough names have been brought to light that we may very well see um, you know, quite a crop of coaches battling for some jobs here. I mean, you get Elaine Vigneault, obviously released from the Rangers. Now Gullitson's out in Calgary. I mean, you've got other coaches with a fair bit of experience, like uh, Dave Tippett is a name I've heard getting back into this mix here. Uh, maybe Bob Hartley, who former Flames coach as well. Not sure they'd bring him back, but I uh, could see him possibly landing somewhere. And then you've got uh, some newcomers like Jim Montgomery from the NCAA. Uh, he's built up quite... A, a resume in Denver. Uh, Sheldon Keith, the Marley's head coach, obviously with Babcock in Toronto, he's never going to get an opportunity anytime soon and, and, uh, with the Maple Leafs. Um, so obviously he's had a, a tremendous age all career, so he looks like he's probably ready to move up uh, to the next level. And uh, obviously it's not going to be in Toronto, so where could he land uh, as coaching jobs come available as well? And there's other names too. So leave some comments down below. What do you think of the move by the Flames? And any idea what direction they might head down for possible replacements? If you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. We cover all 31 NHL teams, and there's plenty of content here for all fan bases to enjoy. If you haven't done so already, consider following us on Twitter. You're going to see our Twitter handle here on the screen, and it's linked down below in the description, so check that out. Stay tuned for our 1,000 subscriber giveaway coming up very shortly, as soon as the milestone's achieved, hopefully here in the next week or two. As always, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll catch you next time. Thank you.